Okay, getting photographs into your database, into the OLE um, box that you've created is quite straightforward. Um, I've got three things open here that you can see. This is my database, I'm in my form view and I'm in my using view. I've got Internet Explorer open, now not Google Chrome. I'm not sure why Internet Explorer does this job better. So I've got Internet Explorer open. It's on a Google page, but it could be on any page, it doesn't matter. And then I've got a folder open, and in the folder I've got the photographs I want to use. So you can see here, my first record is Minnie Mouse. All I've got to do is drag Minnie Mouse, drop her into Google, well, sorry, drop her into my Internet Explorer page, and then from there I can drop her straight into the frame. Okay, I'm going to move on to my next one. Uh, Bart Simpson's next, I'm going to do the same thing, drop him onto Internet Explorer, then drop him from there into the frame. Peter Parker, if you didn't know who that was, Peter Parker's Spider-Man. I'm going to drop him into the frame. And then my last one was Miley Cyrus. And I dropped Miley Cyrus in. Now the only thing you'll notice is the box itself is not quite the right shape and size. So we can do something about that afterwards, even though the picture's already in. If I didn't like this picture, by the way, I could just click on it and hit delete and get rid of it again. But that is the correct one, so I'll put it back in there again. So all I want to do now is just tidy up the way this looks. So I'm going to go back into my design view and I'm just going to close this field list because I don't need it. There's the box itself and I can just re-drag this until I think it's going to look correct and I just flick between the views so it's too much on the side there. Go back into my design view, I'm just going to make it slightly narrower. Hit save, try it again almost there. Okay, the other thing you can do if this still doesn't quite fit, if you click and go back into design view this time, click on the box, click on property sheet to open it up and you can see over here it says size mode and if you change that from zoom to stretch and then flick back you'll see that it perfectly stretches to fit that window. And that's the other way of doing it. 